fires. In Dade County, more crews are joining the Georgia Forestry Service's firefighting efforts. But as News Channel 9's Brandon Evans shows us, these aren't your typical firefighters. Inside the Lookout Highlands subdivision, Georgia Forestry Wildland firefighters have been using controlled burns to try to keep the fire from creeping up. But that's not all the state is doing. Georgia is bringing in inmates from the Georgia Department of Corrections Fire Services. We deployed a task force of inmate firefighters up here from five different fire stations across the state. These 27 inmates from five different prisons are helping keep the fire lines intact around the empty evacuated homes in the Lookout Highlands neighborhood. We clean out everything that it's combustible around the houses in about a 60 foot diameter circle. We couldn't speak to inmates or show their faces, but officials say these inmates are not dangerous and very capable firefighters. They go through a tremendous screening process. They're nonviolent offenders. Most of them, it's their first time being incarcerated. They volunteer to be in this program, and once they get into it, they go through the exact same training as any firefighter on the street would. Firefighters tell us not only is the program effective, it's also not that uncommon. And in my 25 years in corrections we've had been deployed out across the state numerous times from wildfires to most recently the hurricane that went across the coastal area. Officials say these inmates are supervised the entire time and will help fight the wildfire for up to seven days before returning to prison. I'm Brandon Evans, News Channel 9. We talked to one resident of the Lookout Highlands subdivision. He says he's okay with inmates helping fight the fire. He says everyone just wants to be safe and have their homes protected.